He probably had a Yoshi. He probably still has a Yoshi, but he seems to be focusing on gaming one. Oh, man. He's one of those players that just likes to mix everyone up. You know, give you the mix up. You think you're playing Yoshi? Nah. Eat this 2D character. Yup. Uh, those 2D objects don't hold weight, right? Just random. Just random facts. Yeah, so, okay. So, the winner of this will go on to, uh... Advance the winner semis, but Yoshi Freak making it very far. I mean, he's been doing uh, a lot better at, at our events. So, I mean, it's good to see that the level up has come through for him. Yeah, seriously. He has been approaching with Nair. Uh, I see him, he's just very confident with the way that he attacks and just the way that he uh, approaches. Yeah, and that's going to be a great tool against Nitro. If he's able to keep Nitro into the air, I mean, Nitro, it does have the dive kick, but the Nair from uh, Game & Watch will actually catch the Nair before they even trade. Okay, reflecting. Oh, wow, I really respect that strategy from Yoshi's Freak, but it didn't really work out the way that he wanted to. Okay, so he can absorb the, uh, the Holy Cross for some reason. It nice. doesn't look like we're like an uh, energy, but okay. Well, it deflects anything that's physical. Right, but it didn't deflect it. It absorbed it. Oh, it absorbed it. Yeah. Oh, good. He, he has a block because of the holy cross. That's so weird. Okay. Yoshi Freak doing an okay job until he got hit with that back air there. Can I take it. No. Oh, Horns up just nabbing it. Yeah, Nitro's really good at his ledge get up or his ledge setup, I should say. I would um, hope so, man. After all that, all that Richter. Okay. Not quite getting him with the forward tilt, but not getting punished for whipping it either. Okay, getting the grab. Yeah, grab the follow up with, uh, with an air. Yeah, so down throwing an air. Okay, nice to see that that's still a thing. Even at high percent. Oh, oh, I thought we were going to see eternal time. Okay, so it deflected oh, it at that time. Okay, it deflected it at that time. Oh, I think, I, I think uh, the Holy Cross just dissipated. It was out for two. Oh, okay. That's that might have been it. Okay. Ooh, getting hit with that. Ooh, oh my god! Yeah, Nitro covering all the options, making it very difficult for Yoshi Freak to get back on stage. Mm. Dash attack. <laughs> Trying to go through the shield. Look at these angles from from Nitro's forward airs, back airs. Yeah. Oh, almost got that clear too. Okay, I see you, Nitro. Okay, deflecting. Which isn't a bad tool, it really isn't. It comes out pretty quickly. I don't know exactly what frame. Nice. Back air. Doing himself justice here. That's right, putting himself on the board. No three stock today, but uh, I believe that was up throw into Nair. Mm. Kind of hard to tell that like all the game watches look sort of, all his grabs look similar. It is kind of tough to tell, but you can really only tell by the trajectory that they go. Ooh, okay, landing with the down air, trying to cross him up, and he did, but he ended up getting punished anywho. Falling forward air again. Doping out and sniping uh, Yoshi Freak. Mm -hmm. Okay, throwing out the four. Oh, okay, yeah, there's that grab. Okay, into the nair. Mm. Yeah, and I just gotta be careful when he lands with that down there like that. Okay, he's using the cross up for the high recovery. Good grab. Very clear back throw that time. Alright, him up. Uh, he's, trying to, he's trying to follow him so he can do these up, uh, up airs. Yeah, I mean, at lower percent it works. And you're able to attack on a good amount of damage. But, you know, I want to see an up throw into, into Judgment. I haven't seen a single side beat come out from Yoshi Freak. Yeah, he doesn't really seem to throw that out very often. Ooh, yeah. Razo, Razo was getting a lot of love from, from R and Jesus. Mm. Yoshi Freak doesn't even want to roll the dice. No, he doesn't. It's probably because the, the R and Jesus just throws it all to Razo anyway. And Elegant when he's here, but I don't see Elegant here today. Well, I'll... I mean, when you're in those, those like, you're down 120%, you just, you know, recently put your opponent on his last box, get the grab, why not? Yeah. Roll I, the dice. You I get that nine, they're dead. You yep. win the game. You are the better player, and you've proven it by doing up row forward B. By getting a one out of nine chance to and, sock and them in the, the mouth. <laughs> taking the game. All right, so we're on Town and City now. This is game dos. Okay, that looked like a down throw to me. I'm not entirely sure, but that looked like a down throw. Woo, down there just came to him. Twice. Yeah, and you're right about those angles for sure. He's very good at, uh, very good at it. Yeah, but Town City's gonna give Yoshi Freak a, a couple more options in terms of recovery. He's gonna be able to use the platform. Uh, 
Uh, this one's at a little bit higher angle. <laughs> Caught him for I don't know how much percent. It was quite a bit. Oh yeah. Take this. Okay. I, I, I did like that recovery until he got hit with the forward too. You know what's such a smart option? Like most characters that have energy projectiles will be a little hesitant to use it against game one because he has the bucket. But in uh, Smash Ultimate, the bucket, or at least the how strong it is is based off how much damage like the projectile is doing. Mm -hmm. And those fires don't do a lot of damage. True that. So you can get a full bucket off of like one holy water, uh, but it's not going to be strong. Yeah, not at all. But it is a, an extra option when he does have it. Now, what I want to see from uh, Yoshi Freak is when Nitro throws out that axe when he's recovering, when Yoshi Freak is recovering, I'd like to see him use the bucket to throw it right back at him if it works like that. That's my, uh, my thesis. It would? It would do, it would like, it would most likely like travel back at the same angle, but the only thing is like doing that will actually make him vulnerable to the Nitro. That's like, that just screams hit me, I'm at the ledge, and I'll probably die at 40. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, so he's like just not even going for the situation, he's just recovering high, avoiding the ledge, he's very smart, but uh, retreating back to the ledge. You gotta try and get center stage with free. Oh, okay. Yeah, screw yeah. down B. You just up B. Right. Yeah, and honestly, I, I really don't see what he would get that much. I mean, even if he was able to reflect it back. Oh, look at his nair. If he was able to reflect it back, he wouldn't really get that much. Damage. Oh, took his second jump. This is gonna be juggle time. Yeah, super. If it wasn't bad. already. Oh my god, Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, but he was able to reset his jump. Oh, okay. Again? No. <laughs> Yoshi Freak doesn't care at all, man. Look at that up B. Okay. Then so we're gonna see a grab from Yoshi Freak to, you know, follow him up with. I mean, the up B, like, that's one thing about, about Game & Watches, they're not afraid to land uh, inside you, and if they're afraid that you may push one, they're just going to up B right out there. It's like the ejection seat. It's a great option. I'm out. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Yeah, catching the fact that Nitro does like the down air quite a bit. He's like, yo, I got up air. What are you talking about? Yeah, up air projectile in this game. Boom. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, because we all know the Belmonts don't really have that good of a recovery. Yeah, and Yoshi Freak hasn't been afraid to go off and uh, snipe out with the uh, Yoda the Turtle. Very nice. Okay, 0 to, zero to 39. 48. 1. Yeah, 6. Not, not committing to the air dodge. Very smart from Nitro. He's taking a little bit of percent. But if he uh, commits to air dodge, he's going to eat an up smash or he's possibly a Z grab. He'll take much more damage. Mm -hmm. Now he's approaching those higher percents. Now he's going to be uh, forcing his air dodge. You know, that Nair is rather huge. Oh, yeah, it's a great tool. Game of Watch has to have something, right? Oh, yeah. I think he's not that bad. Super glass cannon. Okay, getting caught with that down tilt. Oh, that's exactly right into the holy water. You don't want to do that because if Nitro's uh, re being reactive, you will F smash. Oh, yeah, it's not a good position for you to get at all. I like to use the platform for recovery, just going high. Even if he connects to the ledge, he's using the invincibility from his up B and just escape. Oh, oh, great tech, too. That was a lot harder to do than it looked, too. Wow. You know, that counter pick was starting to look like it was coming in handy, too. I mean, it, it definitely worked out for Yoshi Freak. The reason he chose that stage is just so he would have more options